What inspired the book on Becoming? On Becoming is my personal project, like I love to call it. On Becoming was born from a place of pain, the struggle of survival. God said to me that I was going to write a book. I've never thought about writing a book before. Three months afterwards, this was in March, I got this email from someone who is a vlog watcher. So she's saying, hey, you know, I watch your videos. I think they're amazing. And I also feel like, you know, I have this idea. Why don't you decide to turn the most watched videos that you have, turn them into a book? And then in June, went to bed one way and woke up the next day and my marriage was up in flames and everyone was talking about it. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to go through. I wasn't thinking about any book till July. I woke up that morning and I heard the voice say to me, when I told you to write a book, your biggest challenge was you had no content. Now you have this. And I thought, Lord, why would you want me to write about this? I'm literally trying to survive. What am I supposed to write? And then I just remember that where God leads, he provides. And where he guides, he inspires. And the journey started. Times that I obviously had that stumbling block, the biggest challenge was what would this book be called? And I had people around me say to me, the list of your worries should be the name because the name will come to you. And I found out that that is also one of the hardest questions ever for anyone to answer. People feel like we are who we are by the things that have been said to us and the things that you have come or grown up to accept as defining you as who you are. The core of who I am is found in becoming, finding my purpose, you know, living for more than just existing. And on becoming became this girl who life has handed some blows and is trying to make sense of it all. I am becoming, I'm becoming who God has predestined me to become. I learned growth. I mean, to bear one's souls is an act of bravery. I learned that healing sometimes comes from acceptance, but forgiving myself as well was one of the biggest lessons I had to learn. I like to call this book a must-tell, and not a tell-all. It is a tell-all but it's a must tell. It's a, a crazy culture we have in Africa where you know you date someone who mentally abuses you, makes you feel less than a human being, and you stay there because you just want to be loved. And if you don't tell your story, the world will tell your story for you. Um, I feel like every woman can learn something from this, married, single, about to get married, not even thinking about it. It's a girl's journey from insecurities, a lot of hurt, pain, a lot of questions to becoming, and that's what we are. If one person can read this and have a total change of their outlook on life and become more appreciative of their journey, I feel like my job here is done. I'm proud of myself. I'm looking forward to the book tour. I'm looking forward to speaking at different events and sharing my experience firsthand with different people and just becoming more wiser, stronger, living life like each day is my last. <laughs>